Okay, doing uh I was just going through, I was on Facebook uh, this uh, afternoon and uh, I saw uh, somebody did a, a, made a collection of all the, the, the some of the, of the, the, the what I call the, the masters that uh, Paul Tuchel mentioned. Um, so many of so many of them i just looked at the lists the list was so long and uh, i begin to ask uh, then uh, where do you stand with all these uh, people mentioned is that it charles is that the question yeah uh okay well uh well i'm somewhere just like you we're all somewhere, so we're all in the same life. And again, these are ideas, and uh, you know, I don't know all the boys, and I don't go by names. I uh, I go by awareness, and so that's what I relate to. But of course, we know Rebazar and Paul and Gopal and Fubi and many of them, of course, and they become familiar. But uh, I see all this as awareness. Uh, this is the endlessness. Uh, the real universe is of awareness to where. Um, you know, there's no definition. And, and Paul in the Tiger's Fang, he gave uh, a lot of description because, again, this was, uh, you know, people needed this. This is, and you can see what's happened with all this. It's all become literal. Uh, the higher, the lower worlds, etc. That only exists in creation. Higher and lower. There's no higher and lower. There's no in and out, but we do refer to the real side. This gives people a little bit of idea of separation to, you know, kind of look at something at their life and their experiences and what's going on a little bit different. But realistically, uh, overall, it's an isness. And this is why I didn't give a lot of description uh, to uh, the real universes because there's not. But yet at the same time, anything you want is there. But when you have the real awareness with the is, you don't want anything because you have an actuality of everything, but it's not according to the personal self. So the personal self has things accordingly. So, uh, yes, uh, again, uh, ideas, Charles, ideas that we're dealing with. So, uh, and this is where each person decides how they're going to see this. And really, uh, the reality of life uh, exposes itself to the individual to where they can become more aware. And it's in the doing with what is taking place now, more so than your personal ideas of what you think are so. So, yes, it's a real challenge to do that. So, uh, was there more to that question? Uh, no, Dwayne. That, that, that. That's all about it. But what has caught my attention is, uh, uh, is the fact that uh, in all this uh, multiplicity of names uh, and all the like, you made a statement that stands out, uh, uh, that has struck me like uh, a bolt of a sledgehammer. Uh, that uh, you relate with awareness and not... Uh, and not names. Yeah, that is, uh, that sums it all. Because uh, actually, we are dealing with the r real awareness. And, uh, well, this, uh, this uh, 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 masters or, or real guides that uh, Paul Tuchel uh, mentioned, you may not, uh, identify them by their names or anything but in real awareness you are with all of them so that is the statement that has uh, uh, really uh, struck me so i thank you for that answer uh again uh you know um, like anything that's been created here and we look at that too because it's more uh you know closer to what we're doing etc but um, these are 
these these ideas, these people, etc. Paul built that up for a particular. Okay, um, I didn't really do that with the books because that had already been done. Just like all the things that Paul wrote about, and especially uh, like the five passions of the mind and all these things that Paul wrote. That's, that's already been done. We've already been through that, and I didn't want to drag people through that process again. So I. Uh, you know, wrote about the experiences that I saw would more so relate to, you know, getting on, you know, moving, moving along the trail, so to speak. Okay, so it's like when the old pioneers came from the East Coast to the West Coast, you know, they left the East Coast behind. And these ideas that look so important, you know, to the personal self, really aren't because in the real universes which is here now and recognizing that with what you're doing in creation accordingly uh it's an isness and you can say that these individuals uh because of their awareness they're like shafts of light that's really all we are you know and uh we can identify ourselves anyway so again Yes, uh, this personal side gets confusing. We have that side, but see it for what it really is. And just like our parents, as we grow up with them, uh, as we do our life and we move away from the family idea and they pass on, let them go. They're on their journey. It's not what people think. And it's not genealogy and heritage and all these things. These are ideas. But to emotionally cling to these ideas, etc., and proclaim them as such no because life is all always now what is it right now but you've got to see that and so those who have collected what has been created uh that's as far as their awareness goes until they learn to see more and utilize their real awareness with the references that they've come to know there is a difference